Hi, everybody. Derek Sheridan, Rust Belt Basketball Coaches Network. This is a set named Marty, and we named this Marty after Marty Simmons, who was a longtime uh, basketball coach at Evansville. Prior to that, he was a player for Bobby Knight at IU and moved on to uh, Evansville when Coach Jim Cruz took the head coaching job at Evansville. And then Marty eventually became the head men's coach at Evansville and had a great career there. He's currently the head coach at Eastern Illinois University and just ended his second season. And if you like screening and cutting motion offense, DVR as many Eastern Illinois games as possible, and you're going to learn a lot. But the request that we received um, that led to this video was a request asking for a set or actions off of stagger screens. And before I get into that, there's another coach here in the Rust Belt who is arguably the best at teaching multiple actions off of stagger screens. And that coach is Jim Tharp from Hillsdale College, Hillsdale, Michigan. Um, he's a great guy. He will talk to you. He'll let you in to watch practices. He'll give you um, access to his team if you want to go watch games. But uh, Coach Tharp's a great guy, Wisconsin boy. And uh, his kids do more off of stagger screens than any other um, college team that I've seen. But anyway, let's get into Marty. So our basic alignment when we went with our lane, lane, blocker, mover, offensive structure was a tight stack or a high stack. And one could deviate. He could go to the left. He could go to the right to um, enter into the offense. If one goes to the right, more often than not, two is going to cut off a four. That's not to say if the kids were really good at offensive chatter and talking, two could uh, call for a screen and screen for three. Three would cut off a four and two and cut out to the right wing. And the exact opposite would take place if the ball was maneuvered to the left. So in this instant, we're going to have one go ahead and dribble to the right. And as soon as he gets outside of that pro spot, two is going to shape his man up, which means three and five have to have an act. They've got to help two sell this. So they're going to have their hands up calling for him to cut off of a double. He's going to hightail it around and cut shoulder to hip off of four's screen. And when we say shoulder to hip, we wanted those kids to cut and screen so hard. The term we used was sparks. We wanted to see sparks come off of that cutting and screening action. So one hits two. And four is going to turn around and post. Now, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but these lines here represent where we wanted the screening action for stagger screens to take place in the outer third of the floor. We didn't want them close to the midline. It jams everything up. We wanted them close. And just so you know, that is not a toilet flushing. We've had a lot of rain here in Bowling Green. I'm in my basement. That is our sub pump. So uh, rest assured, no one is... Uh, using the restroom behind me. So outer third of the floor, and that'll make more sense to you in a second. So two's got the ball on the wing, and immediately three's going to go out, and five's going to screen in for him so he can stretch the floor horizontally. As two's looking down at four, one passed it and cut through to the weak side short corner area, lifted up off the baseline. Two's options are four. We're skipping the ball to three as five screens in for three. And the term we, we like to use there was make good teams pay for playing fundamental defense. So four is going to lift. He's usually got a one or a two count to post up, but he's going to lift up to the strong side pro spot. And our rule was strong side up, weak side down. So move over here to... Diagram C, and you'll see as four lifted or went up, weak side down, three and five now are going to set a staggered screen for one. 
two past the four, he's going to drop. Not necessarily to the deep corner. What I mean by that, we don't want him down on the baseline. The high school volleyball line extended would be a good indicator. So four's got the ball over here now in diagram D. And as soon as four caught the ball, one's gone. I mean, he is cutting up off that action. And with Marty, as one cuts off a three, he's going to curl to screen, CTS. Five's going to continue to screen in, and now three is going to jut or back out of that screening action with five and one setting a wall or what we call a Utah screen action. And four is going to look to throw it over the top. Of course, one or five could slip. But in most traditional staggers, the defense is ready for one to come off of both of those screens. But in this instance, one gets around three. Screens in, five screens in, and then three backs out of there, showing the football field goal sign with his hands, which was our sign for a flare screen or a flare cut. And four is looking to throw the ball over the top, then to three. And that is action we called Marty. And you'll have a PDF with this drawn up in it. Um, which will give a little bit more detail than what I gave on the uh, video itself. But you can really help us out if you find any value in the Rust Belt Basketball Coaches videos. If you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, share. Those things go a long way in helping us grow our coaching network. Um, I know it gets old hearing that from YouTubers. And I, at one time, it used to bother me, too, but it does help us. And, and that's pretty much, guys, the only way we can grow without paying people to uh, subscribe, which I'm not going to do that. Um, all of our plays and videos are diagrammed in a weekly newsletter named In Ted's Honor that we've named after Ted Anderson, the longtime coach at Annandale High School in Kansas, who we unexpectedly lost a little over a year ago. And um, in the section named this week's X's and O's, we have these uh, PDFs and videos as well. If you would like to receive our free weekly newsletter, send an email to me. My email address is listed here um, on this video. But again, if you could comment, share, like, subscribe, that would help us a lot. If you ever have a request, anything you would like to see, shoot an email to me. I will never say I have all the answers or even close to that. But Wayne Brooks, Matt Brighton, Adam Conrad, Lance Fritz, we've all coached for quite some time. And uh, Wayne and Adam, even at the college level. So if we don't know how to answer your question, there's a good chance we can lead you to someone who does. Thank you for your attention and hit that like button and subscribe, share, help us out, please. Have a great week, folks.